listen, before we go, we were talking about Paul Pogba a few moments ago. Of course, he's left on a free. Five players, four or five players already left Manchester United on freeze. Mm. Tony Rudiger's joined Real Madrid on a free transfer as well. And there is a trend of players now running down their deals. I mean, even though Kylian Mbappe stayed at Paris Saint-Germain, the fact he had such a negotiation uh, chip, if you like, at the end of his contract, uh, secured to him probably the biggest contract we may ever see. This is a trend that's going to continue. Um, and you've been there before. Uh, Anton, I know you have in terms of negotiating contracts. Do you think this is going to continue? Yeah, I think it will continue. I mean, I I had a, a similar situation when I was at Sunderland. Um, with Steve Bruce, I was playing the best football that I had played for Sunderland in a partnership with Wes Brown. We struck a great partnership. Um, went to Anfield first game of the season, got a result. Um, got a result in a time where Derby and got a result away at Swansea when they first come up, when they were really a, a team that people feared going down to Liberty Stadium. Um, started really well and all of a sudden a team coming for me in Ukraine and, and he said, you've got to go. And I was like, no, I'm not going anywhere. And then a team in the Premier League in QPR came for me and he said, you've got, you've got to go. And I'm just letting you know, as long as I'm at this football club, I'll never give you another contract. So... He put me in a he put me in a position where do I risk not playing, you know? Because if I'm not in his plans, he's not going to play me. That's the way that I looked at it, and he never really played me five, six, seven games on the bounce anyway. He always play me two, three, then take me out. Um, so I was thinking if I do that, I might not get a Premier League club next year. So I had to make the decision that was best for me, and that I was to go to 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 QPR. You know, and I don't regret anything that I've done in my, done in my career. I don't regret any team that I played for in my career. But that is the one decision that I, I wish I would have stayed strong in and actually just backed my ability like I always did. But the doubt from the manager gave me a decision to make and, and essentially I went with that one. What do you think about these players running their contracts down, Darren? Well, I think we talk about player power and I think we're seeing more of it. It's not necessarily about um, players using power, uh, their power to do bad things. It's players rec- recognising their own value and deciding, you know what, I'm going to hold my nerve, go to the end of the season and maximise my options. The, the club is not going to determine what I do, I will. And what we're seeing more and more, and all of the players that you mentioned underline the fact that it's not as difficult to do as it might have been in the past. And the stats suggest that most players who go into the final year of their contract do not sign a new one. So there are lots of players, uh, lots of clubs who turn around and say, do you know what? Um, There are lots of players who turn around and say, do you know what? From our point of view, um, I don't want to sign a new deal. And then the club will turn around and say, do you know what? he's got two years left, we are still not going to sell him. But the only thing that happens for the club in a situation like that is that the value of the player goes down. And so the player will still win, particularly if he's a good player that the club does rely on because you will not get the money that you could get with two years left ever again. Mm. And, and that's why I think in a lot of cases, clubs you know, deciding, you know what, we're going to stand firm. We don't care if XYZ club wants to sign in. We are XYZ and we are going to stand up. And that kind of bravado is good on the one hand, but when you see the players that have already been able to maximise their value by going to big clubs on free transfers and getting big wages, you can see that it will happen more and more. Yeah, I think it was pandemic-induced, the fact that more clubs weren't throwing money at players to stay um, because they didn't know what the future was going to hold. Um, And I think now the players have seen, as we've come out of it, and certain big-name players are signing big contracts, huge signing fees... But again, that is because we've almost come, well, I say we've come out of it, but financially these clubs are in a better place because fans are in stadium once again. And you wonder um, whether I think more players will go right to the end of their contracts now, trying to ensure a big contract, or whether, and I think there's still this point, you know, that's all good if you're one of the best in the game. You can sit back and say, well, anyone will sign me and, yeah. I'll, get, and I'll get this contract. It's, it's whether you're a, a mid-tier player, a lower-tier player, whether you believe you know, if you don't ensure your family's future and your livelihood for the long term, that someone will pick your contract. Yeah, I mean, I think it's going to happen mostly with the, with, with the players of, of, of higher ability, if you like. 
because they will know their value. They'll know that, that the club's got no option either to play them or to pay them. Mm.